So we have reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. It is safe for you to love, open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. So someone wants to reconcile with you. This person is returning to your life and it's safe for you to love this person. And this could be you who went through this. This could be someone that you're attached to, someone that you have detached from. This could be someone who wants to come towards you, different people that they're attached to, different people that they have detached from. This is masculine and feminine energy, past, present, or near future. So you have to take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Pull a couple more of these. Deception is here. Someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship. We're going to pull one more. And then we're going to go to the regular uh, tarot card deck to see what this energy is. Pay attention to the red flags. Okay. So we're going to see who is this that's trying to come back towards you. Someone from your past is returning and it is safe for you to love. <laughs> so who is this person that wants to return, who wants to reconcile with you? So we have the unknown car here. So this could be someone that you don't even know. This could be someone that's returning from a past life. Yeah, the lovers is here. This is someone that you possibly have a deep bond with. Yeah, the star card is here. So I'm thinking to myself, what, what is this unknown card? And the star card popped out. So this could be someone that is returning. And um, they don't want you to know that they healed. The star card is here. Three of Cups is here. So yeah, this is a reconciliation. So this person basically is someone that's returning to your life. This person with this unknown card and the star card, it's like this person could have healed, balanced out whatever took place throughout life and they want to reconcile with you, reconnect with you. This is someone that you have a deep bond with, a deep connection with. And it's safe for you to love this person. This person could have went through some type of deception. Page of Wands is here. And then Nine of Pentacles is here. So this person wants to communicate with you. They um, could have separated themselves from some type of deception. They were in some type of relationship. Somebody was wearing a false mask and now they're single. Yeah, the sun card is here. This person is, you know, something got illuminated to this person. Whoever this person is that was um, wearing a mask, they got exposed. Yeah, Knight of Wands is here. This could have been someone that was um, loose with their sexuality. They would just, you know, do stuff without thinking and they would have one night stands. This person would sleep with anyone. This person was someone that was not committal. And they were in a relationship with this type of energy and that person got exposed. Four of Swords is here. 
they could have gotten sick or they just laid the situation to rest five of swords is here The Fool card and the Strength card is here. So they laid this situation to rest. This person could be someone that sabotaged their um, reputation or something like that or made them look bad with this Five of Swords and Four of Swords. That's why they isolated themselves from that person. This person could have literally made a fool out of this person. And they're moving forward, going towards a whole other direction. And, you know, they've, you know, gained their strength back. They want to move towards growth. This is someone that they were attached to. It was not getting anywhere. It was no, it wasn't. They didn't see growth with this person. This was someone that was very immature. Seven of Pentacles is here. And three of wands in the reverse. This person realized they made a bad decision investing in this person or being attached to this person for a long time. Yeah, because everything backfired. Seven of wands is here. They went through blockages as they were investing in this person or as they were attached to this person. Whatever this person was doing um, to cause deception, it was backfiring onto them. And they realize they made a bad decision. And they're uh, moving forward. The chariot is here. And it's like paying attention to the red flags when I asked what was that and seven of wands popped out. It's like this person started paying attention to the red flags as everything started backfiring. They were going through blockages. They realized this person was blocking them off from moving forward. And this is someone that did, just wanted this person to invest in them, give to them. And then Knight of Wands, this could have been, this was some, I'm done. This person could have been attached to some type of prostitute or something like that. And they didn't know. It's like they could have just jumped in a relationship with this person and they didn't know the entire time this person would just meet up with people, have one night stands and they would sleep with anybody. Like, this made this person look bad. Wow. They made a fool out of this person. The Musician is here. And then Ace of Pentacles is here. This person could have tricked them into, like, committing to them. They did something in a tricky, deceptive way to get this person to commit to them. Three of Swords is here, and then Judgment is here. Yeah, they were at the Three of Swords heartbroken uh, because they were going through karma. It's like they're depressed because they're under judgment. And then Seven of Cups is here. Yeah, so whoever this person is that they were in some type of this Knight of Wands energy... They're going through depression and they're going through karma for whatever they were doing to try to confuse this person. Seven of Cups is here. Yeah, and they feel defeated. This person did some trickery to get this person to commit to them or think that they were someone that was loyal. So they could have, you know, came off as if they were, you know, someone that was relationship, the relationship type. But then behind the scenes, this person was someone that would sleep with anyone. They would just have a one night stand or they would sleep with multiple people. And they could have literally got this person sick or something like that. Or made this person look like a fool. Some type of way this person found out that this person was sleeping with, you know, multiple people. And they did something to confuse this person. Yeah, and that's the truth, Ace of Swords Clarity. They found out truth and clarity. Somebody could have spoke truth and clarity to this person or they seen it for their own eyes. Yeah, High Priestess is here.
And then Ace of Wands is here. Five of Pentacles is here. Yeah. Wow. This person could have literally went and found out the truth. Ace of Swords and then a High Priestess from like a tarot card reader. Somebody that's very intuitive or something like that. Exposed this person. Somebody that knew whoever this high priest, it does, doesn't have to be a tarot card reader. This could have been somebody that knew a lot of hidden secrets or hidden knowledge about this person. And they spoke the truth to this person. Yeah, and they started paying attention to the red flags and they found out this person was somebody that was, you know, low vibrational. This is someone who does not want to work. They did something in a tricky, deceptive way to make this person think that they were uh, someone that was committed to them or something like that. To get this person to think that they were in a relationship. But it was all confusion. Seven of Cups is here. It's like they literally sabotaged this person and their reputation. I'm so done. Yeah, the hangman is here. They could have got this person wrapped up in some type of situation. Feeling stuck. Or they wanted that person to be stuck. And then Page of Swords is here. Queen of Pentacles is here. And then the Death card is here. Nine of Swords is here. Wow. This person is literally having some type of sleep. Whoever this five of pentacles energy is, which is this knight of wands energy, they're having sleepless nights. It's like they're stressed out. They got exposed for something they did. Not only for whatever they did to this person, but something different. They could have been spying on someone or watching somebody, observing somebody or doing something. This person could have, with this death card here, they could have tried to um, intentionally cause harm to somebody. And they didn't know they were being watched, Page of Swords. And then the hangman is here. It's like Page of Swords and the hangman. It's like being watched and caught up in something. This person don't know that they're stuck or something like that or facing some type of situation or jail time. And then Nine of Cups is here. So, yeah, this person could have been watching you. You could be this Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, this person, it's like this person could have sat back and watched you go through some type of transformation. And whatever they were doing, this person could have tried to cause endings around you. They could have spread it lies, gossip and slander. And it's like now they're stressed out after getting exposed. You're at the Nine of Cups, happy, content, wish fulfillment. You're in this Queen of Pentacles energy. Someone that's very stable. Physically, mentally, and spiritually. And this person is stressed out. They're caught up in something. It's like this person could have literally knew that this person uh, had a deep connection with you. Yeah, Tower is here. This person is getting ready to go through a Tower moment. Yeah. Four of Pentacles and then Knight of Pentacles is here. Wow. It's like this person literally have been trying to slow this person down from holding, I mean, from coming towards you. Knight of Pentacles and Four of Pentacles by trying to hold on to this person or control this person's movement. And they're getting ready to go through some type of tower moment. And it's like they're going to wish that they didn't do whatever they did because everything just like backfired. This person sabotaged their self. Wow. King of Cups is here. And then Ten of Swords. Oh, 
believe. It's like this person could have literally like been trying to hold on to this person to slow them down from coming towards you. And they had not intentionally like set it up for this person's demise. King of Cups, Ten of Swords. And they don't know this. Two of Swords. Like they could have literally been sitting back watching you. They knew who you were to this person. And they were trying to hold on to this person and then something happened to this person. Boom. Out of nowhere. And then they act like they don't know what happened. They were trying to hold on to this person to distract them. And they could have literally put like a hit out on this person and they don't know this. This was the ultimate betrayal. Two of Pentacles is here. And then Ten of Pentacles is here. They could have thought that this person would be going back and forth between you and them or something like that. Like this person do not know that they're at the Ten of Swords. Like being betrayed or something like that. Two of Swords and Ten of Swords. They don't know this person is like setting them up or something like that. If they're still attached to this person, they don't know that this person got something set up for them. They're trying to hold on to this person to slow them down. And they're like manipulating this person or trying to confuse this person to try to come towards you. And then still, you know, be back and forth with them or something like that. Whoever this person is. Yeah, the Emperor is here. And then Page of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles is just like going back and forth between something. Don't want you to know something. Two of Swords. Ten of Swords, King of Cups. So it's like this person could have literally knew who you were to this person and they were trying to make this person think that you were someone that wasn't like this person's divine counterpart or someone you have a deep connection with or something like that. They were trying to blind this person from the truth to have this person help them betray you to try to sabotage their own connection. They knew that you and this person had a Ten of Pentacles together and they wanted this person to be, you know, unsure. So they did something to confuse this person. But this person found out the truth. They could be acting like they don't know. Yeah, they could be acting like they don't know. Ace of Cups and then the Devil is here. And then Ten of Wands is here. This person could have really... <laughs> I'm so dumb. It's like this person wanted this person to be in love with them. To keep them in a karmic cycle. The Devil. They could have played some type of love spell or a sex magic or something like that to keep this person. It was multiple. Seven of Cups is like multiple different things to try to have this person in love with them to keep them in a karmic soul contract this person is at the ten of wands pressure burden and weighed down five of wands going through conflict chaos drama and fights arguments this person was literally secretly trying to copy you if this person was watching you it was only to mimic you they could have lied and made it seem like they were watching you for something else or they found out some type of information. They made up something to make it seem like that's why they were watching you or they were keeping that hidden. This person was watching you because they knew who you were to uh, this person and they knew they were a karmic. They wanted this person to be in love with them. Yeah, they wanted this person to be attracted to them. They could have knew this person was attracted to you or something like that. Had passion for you. Nine of Wands is here. Yeah, it's like they wanted this person to be guarded towards you. King of Wands, Queen of Wands, and then Nine of Wands. 
And the entire time, this person was secretly competing with you. Yeah. But the whole time, it's like you're not paying attention to that person or whoever they were attached to. You're someone that's in this Queen of Pentacles energy and you went straight into the Ten of Pentacles. And it's like that person is at the Two of Pentacles going back and forth. Trying to figure out how can they balance this situation out or they're struggling. And it's like this, doing, like behind the scenes, this person found out some type of truth that was hidden. And they could have literally found out that you were their twin or you were someone that was like a soulmate. Somebody that they were supposed to partner up with and build with. And that's why they want to come towards you. Yeah, this person could have found out you were their twin. That's why they feel like they got played and this person made them look like a fool. It's like this person, that's why they feel betrayed and they were lied to. Ten of swords, two of swords. And they didn't know that this person was intentionally trying to have them stuck and set them up. Two of Wands is here. And then Seven of Swords. Yeah, they were planning to rob this person. Seven of Swords and Two of Wands. It's like they planned out and set up a whole bunch of stuff that this person don't even know. Yeah, Eight of Cups is here. This person could have walked away from this person. And they're sitting back strategizing on how can they set this person up. Yeah, it's like they walked away Eight of Cups from a confused mindset and they just started working on things that they wanted or working on their self, Eight of Pentacles. And then the Moon card is here. So this person literally either is planning to rob this person or this is what they have been planning ever since this person walked away. They could be watching that person. And they don't know they're being watched. This could be the reason why they're in the hangman energy. Because this is someone who don't want to work. So this is someone that's like a scam artist. They're always at the two of pentacles juggling between thoughts and finances trying to figure this out. And they literally, you know, is trying to slow this person down. Or they try to slow this person down. But they don't know that this person is secretly, could be secretly working with someone else. And they've been sitting up, like literally sitting back planning and strategizing. Two of Wands and Seven of Swords on how can they set this person up. This is someone that's just trifling and low. Yeah, Eight of Swords is here. This person walking straight into the Eight of Swords. They could be literally getting ready to go to physical jail. Eight of Swords. They got caught. The Hermit is here and then Ten of Cups. Yeah, this person's family could be literally under investigation. So if they have one of their family members like watching this person to try to set them up or put a hit out on this person so they wouldn't come towards you to try to slow this person down, their entire family is being um, watched like under investigation. And they didn't know this. Whoever this energy is. Yeah, it's like they're caught. Knight of Cups is here. And then Knight of Swords. Yeah, they got pissed off and mad because this person wants to connect with you. Knight of Swords and Knight of Cups. And they're, they're mad because this person is in this King of Swords energy. Distant from them. Speaking the truth to them. Cut this person off. And they're pissed off. This person could have literally tried to have different people that they knew to try to come towards you. Yeah, to try to finesse you or something like that. Yeah, Queen of Cups and Two of Cups. It's like this person sitting back plotting and was, you know, planning and scheming and they don't know. Everybody that they were working with or involved or their entire family is literally like under investigation. 
the entire time they were trying to strategize something, they planned this out at a stalemate and did not know they would be left at that same two of wands, not knowing which direction to take. All because they knew that this person was in love with you, Queen of Cups, and then Two of Cups. You and this person will partner up. Yeah, they knew about this Wheel of Fortune. It's like they knew that you and this person were destined to do things together. And this is why this person confused this person. This was a prostitute that knew about some hidden knowledge. They were looking into this person's fortune, found out who you were to this person, and this person started plotting and scheming ever since. And they were playing with spell work to confuse this person. They had multiple people that were attached to them involved. And they could have literally been sitting back watching you and this person. The entire time, they didn't know they were under investigation. I'm so done. Yeah, the world is here and then King of Pentacles is here. This was a cycle that needed to be completed. This person needed to end out a cycle and walk into a whole nother cycle. It's like this person ended some type of commitment with this prostitute. And they didn't know they were tricked into committing to this person. This person was a prostitute the entire time, but they, this person uh, didn't know. They got played. Yeah, they got played. And this person knew, like, they knew about you and th this person, like, way before. This person knew, way before you knew. They only was attached to this person. This person could have had a uh, material gain. They could have been stable or something like that. And they were getting whatever they could up out of this person. And it's like this person literally sat back and wasted their time trying to strategize against you and this person and didn't know they had to set their self up for a trap. Wow. Successful is here. You're someone that's very successful. That's why this person is having sleepless nights. They could be smothered in addictions. Yeah, they're the bystander. They're just standing by watching you be successful. Wrong path is here. Yeah, everything backfired. It's like this person wasted their time trying to strategize and they didn't know they were keeping their self in some type of eight of swords energy. Wow. Scorpio is here. You could be a Scorpio. One of these people could be a Scorpio. They knew about this twin flame journey way before y'all did and they were being sneaky. This was a setup. It's like they set this person up. Some type of way this person could not tell that this energy was a prostitute. And they were just attached to this person for, you know, to get their finances. They wanted this person to think they were someone that was loyal, someone that they can trust. It's just like a person have multiple tricks, prostitutes, multiple people that give them money. And they want all of these people to look at them as someone that they're in a relationship with. All of these people are confused and don't know that this person is a prostitute because spell work is placed over them. So in their minds, they're thinking that they're the only one attached to this person and they're taking care of this person financially, taking care of this person um, physically and different things like that. And they're not paying attention that this person is at the night of one sleeping with a whole bunch of different people. And they're doing the same thing for this person that they're doing. And they think they're doing the own, you know, they're the only one attached to this person. Yes, yeah, spell work got exposed. This is someone that is very needy and codependent. And it's like this person literally got behind the scenes and was secretly competing with you. They already knew they couldn't compete with you. They don't compare to you. It was just to hold on to this person to confuse this person. Because they knew that this person was in love with you or you were this person's true love. This person almost knew that they couldn't confuse this person with spell work anymore. So they start panicking. They started panicking. They started lying to this person. It was some type of karmic friend involved. And they were secretly like competing with you to try to hold on to this person to slow this person down. Now this person is caught up in all, 
they, this person is caught up in some stuff that they don't they don't even know yeah i found out you're my twin flame so this person found out bad karma is here and then regret they're in regret because they were attached to a hidden enemy this entire time. This person was trying to cause a lot of negativity. And this bad karma is them facing some type of jail time. This person did not know that they would end up facing jail time for whatever they were doing at the Seven of Swords. They were literally trying to block your blessings. This person should have mind their business. But they don't have anything going for themselves. This is someone that's low vibrational. They don't want to work. So it's like they don't have nothing to do but sit back and watch other people and cause negativity. This is how they live. That's why they're always going through this five of pentacles, bad karma, financial lacks, and very needy and codependent to other people's time, money, and energy. Abundance is here. And then deception again. Gold digger is here. Aquarius is here. You could be an Aquarius. One of these people could be an Aquarius. You're someone that's very abundant. This person did not know that you have powerful ancestors. You could be someone that's celibate. And this person is a prostitute and was trying to uh, literally like copy you, mimic you. Wanted this person to think that um they were you. This is sad. Yeah, but this person ended up finding out the truth. This person is dealing with some type of financial lax, and that's why they did all of this uh, behind the scenes. I'm <laughs> yeah, they knew that this person had hidden emotions for you, and they started stressing. Because they thought they had this, this person confused under love spells, sex magic, and all type of stuff behind the scenes once they found out this person was in love with you that made this person panic they started stressing and they started secretly competing with you copying you trying to cause negativity around you and it did not work this person trapped their self and made this person look bad i am done transformation is here it's like they've been watching you go through a transformation and then spying is here yeah you're someone that's an influencer you're on the right path. That's the only reason why this person was stalking you. This person was constantly getting tarot card readings. The more and more they would get readings, the more envious they would be of you. Yeah, this was a karmic feminine that this person was attached to. And now they're seeing stuff for what it is. That's why they want to reconcile with you and come back toward. This person was learning lessons and they didn't know. They were in some type of situation shit where they were being deceived. This person was wearing a mask and they needed to pay attention to the red flags. Yeah, because they thought that this, this person thought they were going to come towards you and then they would be still, you know, contact or uh, attached to this prostitute. I'm so dumb. 